the Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a winter weather alert. You know, no one wants to be more right about a forecast than a meteorologist. We take a lot of time looking at numbers, looking at forecast models, trying to arrange the most accurate forecast, and then we sit back and we watch how it plays out. The storm has formed on the lee side of the Rockies, so now we're waiting to see how it'll play out. And so far, it looks like everything is according to, going according to the original forecast. Here are the travel impacts, and in the morning, we expect things to be really easy, quiet, dry, just kind of breezy. The wind is going to start to pick up, and by noon, we should have some precipitation starting to fall, some snow starting to lightly stack up as some dry air gets eroded away. And then as we get into the afternoon, we expect a sharp drop off. This is going to happen at different times, depending on where you live, but by the time we get to four o'clock, we expect high to major travel impacts that continues through the evening hours into Saturday. Now, at times, as the storm pivots through, you might see a brief lull at your location. The wind might drop off, but we expect this to continue into Saturday morning and even Saturday evening. So this is a long duration event. It's going to start with heavy snow and finish with cold drifting snow with another round of lake effect snow on Sunday. Here we are now very dry, not much close by, but this storm is moving so fast. It's deepening as it does so. It's undergoing rapid intensification. And by the time we get to tomorrow morning, this moisture shield is going to be well over West Michigan. Here's how it looks. We'll stop it at a few key points by 11 o'clock. Heavier snow starts to move into the southwest portion of West Michigan, but again, it's through the early afternoon that I think the snowflakes will actually make it to the ground, eating away all the dry air that's currently in place over our state. And then from there, it's a steady event. We see heavy snow pivot through the area, a lot of wind, and then we finish up with the cold air on Saturday, especially by the afternoon, blowing and drifting near blizzard-like, if not blizzard-like conditions with more lake effect snow for Sunday. This is a doozy of a storm. We get a lot of winter storms in West Michigan, but this is one that I think we do need to take a bit more seriously than the others. Tomorrow morning, we get up to 25 degrees. By the afternoon, briefly 34. The fact that we're so close to the freezing line ensures that we're going to be seeing the heavy wet snow at the start. And then as our temperatures drop, the snow gets a little bit finer, flakier, easy to carry in the wind. And that's why we're expecting the lower visibility on Saturday. A lot of questions about the snowfall type. That's why I keep talking about it. This is going to be rough to shovel on Friday. Reminds me a lot of the storm system we just experienced on Tuesday, but instead of getting a break after it's done, we're going to con con <laughs> we are going to transition over to the blowing snow. Here's a look at the forecast numbers. By the time we get to Saturday evening, 10 to 14 inches, if not more, it's quite a bit. And all the while, we are expecting the wind to be blowing 20 to 40 miles per hour, occasionally at 50 miles per hour. We had power outages on Tuesday, and we didn't even have the wind component as much. Right. So we are expecting some power outages uh, starting Friday afternoon and then potentially ramping up Friday night to Saturday. Yeah, just when you said heavy, wet snow yeah. is exactly what I thought. Yeah, and I'm so glad that people are taking this one seriously. Yeah, Ellen, thank you.